Well, it was I was um, Beryl Reed's last Sloan. I've been thinking about that. It's rather a good title, isn't it? The last Sloan, um, and she, I happened to work on stage with Max Wall, Jimmy Jewell, and Beryl Reed, and then these were all people who came from Variety, which is the direct ancestor of Music Hall. And of those three, I mean, Max, Max was very funny, but Beryl, by the third line every night, had the audience in the palm of her hand every night. And I didn't know how she did it. I couldn't tell. She had the ability to say to the audience, we are going to have some fun. And she had a routine, a music hall variety routine of Beryl. Do you remember Beryl, the schoolgirl? used to keep my supper knickers. And like Terry Scott had a, had a routine um, where he was a naughty schoolboy. And, and these are all people that I'd watched it in my childhood and to actually be on stage with one of them. And it was wonderful to be on with Beryl because I could get such fantastic laughs off the things that she was doing and they were all coming back to me watching it just now. I'm amazed how wordy a play entertaining Mr. Sloan is. I don't know why I, I hadn't re quite remembered it like that. I, I love it because it, it it's so worked out and so, so there's, there's a thoroughness to it somehow. It's sort of it's really sort of very cleverly sort of put together, and it's it's not how it felt when I did it, but seeing it just now again from the outside, I think, gosh, this is. I mean, the film w when people take a, a play and make a film of it, the author's done so much work to put everything into one room and then to sort of expand it and have people in cars and stuff like that somehow sort of thins it out a bit, I think. It's a, it's a very, very good play. I was acting when the Lord Chamberlain was censoring things. I've seen his report from a play called Uburwa that I was in at the court, and he was cutting things like screw-top bottles. I mean, it's just ridiculous. He was just, you know, paranoid about anything. But what Joe got away with, like um, I'd wear my jeans out for you and, and, and in your service and stuff like that, it was great fun. And it's a bit like Joe, he would show you a snap he'd got back from Boots of his naked cock and he was so pleased to, to have passed it through Boots somehow <laughs> it hadn't been noticed. And, uh, in, and, and Joe's writing was like that. It's like the... And when you knew he was Edna Wellthorpe. It was such fun looking for Edna Wellthorpe letters, you know, and uh, there's just mischief through everything that he did. It's very funny.